Firstly, don't panic. If you're here, I'm sorry, it probably means something bad has happened. Now, if you've lost all your data or done what I did once, which is accidentally format the card, don't panic. Stop doing stuff, take the memory card out, disconnect it, pop it down, don't try and do anything else. I'm gonna show exactly what you need to do in order to try and retrieve this data. Now, if this data is super valuable, and I mean like super valuable, send it into a professional. If it's just you've been out shooting for the day and you've lost some stuff, do this, save yourself some money, it will probably work. The Stellar Data Recovery software that I'm going to show you is what I use in the studio. I purchased this many, many moons ago because I formatted a memory card by mistake. And it wasn't really worth spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get it sorted because it was just personal pictures. But I did want the pictures. Now, this won't work for everything. If you've got a spinning drive and it stopped spinning, you're foobard, you need to send that out. But if you've deleted something, it's corrupted, the card suddenly on the back of the camera says, please format card, don't format the card, take it out and run it through this software. Let me show you exactly what to do, how to do it. I'm gonna pop a link in the description below. So hopefully when you have this hellish moment of realizing that you've either made a mistake or the card has gone bad, you can fix what you need to fix. It's something I have on all my computers just as a safe key because you never know when you're going to accidentally delete something on a drive. The art director comes in and deletes something then you back up the deleted file or like the empty file, whatever it may be. This is the bit of kit and software that we use to try and fix it. Now, Stellar Data Recovery is something I've used for years, ever since my wedding debacle where I thought I'd imported the files into Lightroom. What I'd done is I'd added them and I was actually reading them off the compact flashcard, which I then formatted. We've all done it, don't worry, this sorted me right out. So here's the drive that I've just formatted, drive one. Um, all my other drives when here you can see them. Sometimes if it's gone really bad, you can't see it and you have to do a slightly different approach. But for now, let's get you sorted. So we go to scan. This is doing a scan now of the drive and seeing what it can find. I'm hoping to get back some videos that I shot recently, but we'll see what turns up. Now, being a non-techie person, which I'm sure you are too if you're watching this, which is why you're watching this, I have no idea what this does, but it's some kind of voodoo magic. Scanning complete, six files found in five folders. Brilliant, I was looking for two or three video clips, so that's perfect, we'll go to OK. Then all we have to do is go to recover. So once we've clicked recover, we choose where we want to put these two. I tend to go to my desktop. Um, I just, I feel like it's probably a safer thing to do. Again, I don't know this for sure, but this is how I do it. We then go to save and then it runs its magic. Now, I'm only looking for a couple of files here. If you've tanked an entire like 128 gig memory card, at this point, don't touch anything. Go and make yourself a coffee, a tea, whatever it may be. Leave it alone. Don't mess with stuff. Don't touch stuff. Don't wiggle cables because you're only going to make matters worse. But at this point here, once you've found it and you're retrieving it, hopefully you're good. If the data's in there, it will pull it out. Okay, so it's finished this little whizzy process. We've now got this root folder into private. I don't recognize these names, but there we go. Clip. There we go. And here is a video I shot many, many moons ago. And this is what most of my videos start out with. It's me going, what the hell's going on? There we go. And that was what it says from today. Can I see any information in there? Command I. I can't see when I shot this, but it was a while ago because it was pre-haircut. That is how to get your files back if you've deleted them or they've corrupted. Very simple, very affordable very low stress. I have this on all of my machines just in case something goes very south um, and we've not managed to back it up correctly or we've backed up a bad folder which has happened before.